For someone who was wondering, oh, welcome back to the channel, but for someone who was wondering, uh, when I film these videos like I am now, where I film a bunch of them in one go, I often forget to take a picture of myself with the album. That's all my thumbnail is. I use the same camera app just on the camera mode and go, I don't know, we're going to do this album today. So I just go, and the face, the is I call it the YouTube face. Uh, if you watch any sort of big YouTuber who caters to more children, or more, they are children, even if they're teenagers, they're fucking children. Uh, they do the surprised face, like, don't call Liam Gallagher at 3 a 3am challenge. You know, that's why I do it, it's just a joke. Um, I know it looks stupid, but anyway, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over Liam Gallagher's 2019 Why Me, Why Not. This is his masterpiece. This is the album that we were waiting for. As You Were was brilliant. It was a good starting point. But this, this is where it's at for Liam Gallagher. I love the art style of this album. And I love the... Um, right, you finished? Are you finished? Can I, can I, can I film? Film? Thank you. <laughs> we're going to continue. Uh, I love the art style. I love the... Um, I love the gatefold. It's sort of like... Well, it is like a poster. It's supposed to be a poster on a wall that's sort of faded out. Uh, I won't show you the record because it's not that interesting. But there's that beautiful man. And the I love the pink on green, which is great. It's the same with the uh, label on the record. One side is green, the other's pink. And just it's just really beautiful. I love the pink on green and all the colours on the back. I know I'm like, bleh, cut, that shockwave which is a lot like a wall of glass just this great opening banger this heavy guitars great riffs explosive vocals it's coming round like a shock wave yeah um, i've got the single actually somewhere down there um which is really cool it's got shock wave on one side and on the other side it's got all the lyrics in a circle which is really cool that uh, one of us which is probably my favorite liam gallagher solo track uh, my what it's got my favourite lyrics out of probably any song ever. Well, second favourite there. I just love the line, uh, you said we'd live forever, which is obviously a reference to his brother and my favourite song of all time. Um, it's really touching. And if you watch the music video for this song, there's a load of Oasis references. And you've got the three brothers, with Liam the youngest. You've got Paul Gallagher who's the oldest brother. You've got Noel Gallagher, the middle child, and then Liam Gallagher. They're all in the video. There's tons of different uh, Oasis Easter eggs. When he opens the door, on the door you've got the date that Oasis split up, and then there's some chairs. The chairs are the same chairs that were in the Wonderwall video. And just small things like that. It's a really beautiful um, video and a really beautiful song about your brother, your friend, who has grown up and now acting like he's someone different, but he's not. He's always one of us, and he's always going to be, you know, like me. Uh, don't don't act like you don't remember. You said we'd live forever. It's just beautiful. It really is a touching moment. Uh, once again, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, you thought that you could do it again, but you only get to do it once. It's all about YOLO. Uh, you only live once. You, you've got this one life. And you need to go out there and you need to live it, which is true. Uh, whatever your religious preferences are, your life is happening now. And you need to go and, you know, do it. Grab life by the balls, by the cojones. Get out there and experience it. Which is a really great message and it's a beautiful song. Um, now that I found you is amazing. I love his vocals on this track. And actually there's a... Have a look at the MTV... Um, the acoustic version then just have a look at because it, it's even better in my mind it's really some really great vocals that uh, halo is a great song and the title track why me why not has a really great raunchy chorus to it oh why me why that's not the chorus but just a really great song uh be still is a it's a beautiful song again they're all beautiful but it's a really touching song 
where he talks about his mother telling him just be still everything's going to be all right everything works out in the end just it's gorgeous uh all right now is great meadow is beautiful and then the river which was a single uh it's, again it's a it's a lot more heavier than some of the other this songs. is future robin i'm gonna put this in um i forgot to talk about the fact that liam gallagher bought one of john lennon's paintings back in the 90s called why me and then sometime i think it's like 2014 2015 yoko ono of all people invite Le invites liam gallagher around her house because she knows he's a huge john lennon fan and gives him another john lennon painting called why not and jo uh, liam gallagher's album is named after those two paintings why me why not which is really cool it's just another homage to liam gallagher's favorite person on earth uh nobody interrupted me that time i just burped and it was horrible uh, the River is just a really great, raunchy, loud song. And then Gone, the album ends with Gone, which is a really beautiful slow burner that has a really great talking passage in it. And it's just overall an amazing album. Like, this is what we want. This is just, it's a, this is a nine out of 10 on my scale. And I, this proves that Noel Gallagher is a fucking idiot. This proves that Noel Gallagher is an idiot. Now I'm going to save my Noel Gallagher speech because I've talked about it a billion times already and Noel Gallagher's reviews are coming up in the next few months but we'll save it for that but Liam Gallagher knows what his fans want and Liam Gallagher knows what he's good at so Liam Gallagher's not making dance hall pop music is he? No, he's making rock music because he knows his fans want rock music and he knows he's good at making rock music but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and join me next time where we go over Liam Gallagher's MTV Unplugged album. Take care, everyone.